the film is not made to please anyone. It's, uh, it's, uh, I, I'm sure that people who would uh, uh, watch it will have a lot to, um, uh, to absorb from it. Hello and welcome. My name is Christina Nord. I'm the head of the Berlinale Forum, an independent section of the Berlinale run by the Arsenal Institute for Film and Video Art. It is my great pleasure to welcome Avi Mugravi, the director of the first 54 years, an abbreviated manual for military occupation. Hello, Avi. Hi, Christine. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm well, I'm OK. <laughs> How would you describe your film? in two sentences. Well, it's uh, on one hand, uh, it's, a, it's a film about uh, the Israeli occupation of the Palestinian territories in the West Bank, uh, of the West Bank and Gaza Strip. But on the other hand, it's a more, um, uh, I think, a universal film about uh, any occupation anywhere. And uh, this, uh, well, we have seen uh, quite a few in uh, modern history. אני נכנסתי לבתים, ולא לא ש... נכנסנו, אני, אני נכנסתי, ולא שהייתי לבד, אבל אני רק על עצמי אספר. והתחלתי לפגוע באבא, בילדה, בילד, באימא, לשבור את הבית. לא... ולא עצרתי, לא עצרתי, לא... The idea to make the film uh, started from my uh, uh, many years of involvement uh, with Breaking the Silence, which is a, an organization of uh, Israeli veteran soldiers uh, uh, founded in 2004. Uh, and uh, their mission is to um, attempt to make the uh, occupation visible to the Israeli public. Uh, uh, in Israel, uh, there's a, a, a strong tendency to ignore uh, the fact that uh, we are uh, holding um, 5 million Palestinians under occupation for the last 54 years. And Breaking the Silence uh, is trying to uh, make this visible uh, by uh, collecting testimonies from soldiers, uh, veteran soldiers like themselves, uh, and uh, public uh, publicize them. Uh, and I've been involved uh, in this organization from uh, the very first day and already made one film, uh, Z32, based on uh, uh, one uh, testimony. In the beginning, I thought that um, uh, just compiling the testimony, the testimonies one after the other under some kind of uh, uh, thematic logic will be enough. Uh, later on, or as the, as the editing uh, uh, progressed, I realized that there was a need to, um, to provide some kind of a, of a, a more uh, general framework. Each testimony would, uh, uh, would have a meaning, uh, not only as to the how to, how to occupy, but as to also uh, what is the purpose of uh, all those procedures and um, uh, what higher purpose uh, do, do all those actions uh, serve. And uh, this is how um, the idea to um, uh, uh, turn this uh, film into uh, a manual for military occupation. And the former soldiers who were interviewed, were they like, yes, let's do this. I want to talk about my experiences. I want to talk about what we, what, what, what I did, what I was involved in. Or is there a certain reluctance um, or is it maybe both? A lot of them do it uh, because of their political conviction. Definitely uh, uh, 
you know, breaking the silence has uh, become in recent years the big Satan of uh, Israeli politics. It's uh, an NGO that's constantly uh, attacked by, uh, by the right wing, by the government, even the prime minister, the, uh, by uh, Knesset members, parliament members. Uh, there were already two laws uh, legislated with the subtitle uh, of uh, breaking the silence law, uh, laws trying to um, uh, limit uh, uh, the work of this organization. So um, uh, when people testify or provide their, with their testimony to breaking the silence, they know um, who they're dealing with. So people are very well aware of uh, who is uh, uh, collecting the testimony and uh, the uh, purpose that uh, uh, this organization has for those uh, testimonies. Listen, there comes a moment in a war of this sort when both parties lose the hope of defeating the other. They don't presume they will succeed in releasing themselves from your long-standing dominion, and you cease to believe in reinstating normalization. It's a difficult moment when changes occur. Both you and the insurgents that confront you will resort to means the sole purpose of is to cause pain, to shed blood. It's a very undesirable moment, but it has to be taken into account. You yourself are also a very important character in the film. I'm using the word character. Maybe you would describe it differently. Um, would you like to share your thoughts on your role in the film with me? Yeah. Obviously, uh, to find uh, me sticking my nose to the camera in one of my films is no big uh, novelty. I've, uh, I have the tendency to do this uh, and every film the question is uh, not if it will happen, but how it will happen. Uh, in this film, um, well, at a certain moment when, when I uh, came up with the idea of creating uh, the manual for uh, uh, the abbreviated manual for military occupation, I uh, thought that um, I will, I, uh, I need to uh, someone, uh, an instructor for the for the manual, someone to lead the um, the viewer within uh, the the um, uh, the manual uh, with all those uh, instructions and uh, uh, and um, uh, motivations, incentives uh, for uh, maintaining uh, an occupy a military occupation of a territory of a people. And, and such a long uh, occupation also. Uh, there, there, would, uh, there was a need for someone to take the, 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 the viewer uh, through this um, uh, long journey. Let's say I needed an expert. Uh, and uh, it was very clear that uh, I no uh, such expert that uh, is part of the system that, that created uh, the uh, occupation would agree to uh, frankly speak to me about um, the uh, the the uh, about the, the 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 mechanism of the occupation and about uh, the reasons the motivation of of um, um, uh, the occupation. What I perceive is a certain shift of tonality, maybe. Um, so while in earlier films there was a lot of humor and uh, a lot of playfulness, this time I perceive it more like bitter irony. Um, in earlier years I was more um, open to, uh, to respond to the political situation with a big laugh 
little by little, uh, this uh, laugh was uh, <laughs> became uh, less obvious. Uh, and um, it, there was also a, a, a another kind of change uh, for uh, several, for many years, I've made films, of oppositional films. Here again, I'm, I'm um, in this uh, strange role uh, of, uh, of making an oppositional film, yet playing a, a sympathetic role. My, my character in the film is, um, uh, is, is uh, 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 representing the, the, the logic uh, of, of the occupation uh, as part of it, not as a, a, an opposition. It's a very Machiavellic, uh, the character is a, is a Machiavellic character uh, who um, uh, uh, obviously uh, doesn't uh, share uh, the, mor the moral values that uh, you and me share. Uh, he has uh, uh, higher purposes, uh, more important purposes that uh, morals uh, uh, don't reach. Uh, and um, uh, this is uh, the kind of motivation that he uh, provides. So I, yeah, I guess that in general, the film is, is, uh, is uh, somewhat bitter, uh, but yes, very, I think uh, highly ironic. Pratenu, betoch el invidori ga matchil ba tironut. Eta lomed she besof targil, achay she kavash ta kipa, o eshu kavash ta eshu tvai shetach, eta sorek achay kach et kol tvai she shalacht abo. ואם אתה מזהה אויב שנפגע במהלך הפשיטה שלך, התקפה, אתה יורה לו כדור בראש. In the, in the last uh, few years, I'm, I have little uh, trust in the power of film to uh, contribute to change uh, of, uh, in, in, of reality of uh, uh, current politics, yet Whenever I start a film, I, I think that I'm in the mood of, yes, we'll change reality, we, which is obviously becomes an artistic, artistic energy and not um, uh, necessarily a real uh, uh, energy of change. Now, there's, um, I think, one uh, uh, interesting parallel between, for instance, uh, my uh, activity uh, within Breaking the Silence and uh, my uh, activity as a filmmaker. In Breaking the Silence, uh, a lot of times when, when, uh, when, when the public uh, is uh, reluctant to listen to what we have to say, uh, then um, uh, myself and uh, the other um, um, members of the board of uh, Breaking the Silence, we encourage the, the, our young um, uh, team by saying that the real purpose of what we're doing is to create this archive. And, and uh, even if uh, right now uh, reality or the public is not ready or is not willing to listen to what we have to say or, uh, or what we provide, there is still a bigger purpose and um, a longer life for what we collect, what we uh, uh, provide. Uh, and and uh, it's also a very uh, singular phenomenon that um, uh, those testimonies of soldiers are collected as while the conflict is still ongoing. Uh, we encourage uh, our team by saying, look, this is a, a very singular phenomenon. We, we don't have to wait uh, 50 or 60 years until those um, testimonies are uh, surfacing. Uh, we are collecting them, what you can uh, describe as almost real time. The Israeli public is reluctant to listen to voices of criticism. And I, I, I feel that um, uh, my films are part of uh, those kind of voices. And in a way, uh, in, 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 at my, in my home, in Israel, my work is mostly enriching the archive. 
and uh, most of the public is uh, reluctant to watch it. Thank you very much for um, for the conversation and thank you very much for showing the film in the Berlinale uh, Forum. I'm, I'm very, very happy. Thank you for, for selecting it. Uh, you know that uh, the forum is, uh, is where my work was uh, first discovered and I'm so happy uh, uh, to be uh, invited again to uh, provide this new film.